two purposes for the press conference. Uh, one, uh, you know, to, uh, to say thank you uh, to Coach Henson for his uh, service to the university, and then uh, also to talk about the coaching search. So I'm going to turn things over to our AD, Jerry Kill. Guys didn't clap or anything? If you want any information, better clap. All right. No, uh, first of all, um, you know, I think that it's important to know that, uh, um, you know, you, you look at Barry Henson's tenure, and uh, I think some people have forgotten uh, uh, him coming in and, and it being a tough situation. Uh, he was asked to do what he needed to do, uh, and uh, that's what you're supposed to do as a coach. And uh, I think I don't need to say a whole lot uh, about, um, you know, uh, the other night and the fact you've seen it. You know, you've seen uh, him uh, do his interview uh, and uh, in live detail there and uh, his passion, and uh, he was very – gracious for the opportunity uh, that he was given here at the university uh, and you know the people of southern Illinois and uh, you know I think it was a, a situation a lot of people said well coach or, or were you prepared for all that no I was not I was asked to go in the locker room and uh, I think Barry uh, just you know cited it's time and and so he talked to the kids uh, he did a great job with the kids and then uh, went from right there. And I grabbed him at the locker room. I said, hey, wait, wait, wait. I, just, I wanted to wait, talk to you a little bit. And, and uh, he said, I just need to get it over with. And I said, fine. And, and then he went on into the press room and, and uh, said his words. But I just want to emphasize that, uh, you know, he's handled himself in a first-class manner through this. And uh, he's been nothing good. Uh, to Southern Illinois, and uh, again, you cannot forget uh, the things that he's done here and that, uh, uh, that's helped the university out. So uh, you go on into some things with, uh, you know, everybody, the next question will be contracts and those things, and uh, we will honor uh, Coach Henson's uh, contract. Uh, we are at the point in time right now uh, in uh, the legal office working out the same situations that you always have to work out uh, but uh, we will honor it it's the right thing to do we will always operate in a first class manner here and that's the way you do it at programs and uh, you know uh, when you're in coaching uh, it's important believe me it's important so uh, you know, uh, and that's the business and athletics. It's a, it's an important thing. Uh, you know, going along with that uh, is that uh, I think that uh, you know uh, I might add as as we go along here is that uh, Barry was very well respected in the conference. Uh, Doug Elgin told me as I walked out of the arena and grabbed me and and uh, Barry. And uh, he said, hey, you know, you've been a great ambassador of the league. And to have the commissioner say that about you, uh, that means something to you. And, uh, and Coach uh, uh, from Northern Iowa um, came in and, uh, and talked to him and, and said the same thing. So, um, and it tells you a little bit when we came back to the hotel, uh, I, I certainly don't remember getting any of this, but uh, he walked through the hotel and people were clapping, some were crying, you know. So I, I think the, the people uh, do appreciate the job he's done. And uh, so I think, uh, again, uh, he has he uh, done a good job with that. Uh, some of the other things along with that, um, I think that uh, – that uh, really, um, you know, uh, that's kind of, you know, where I think that, uh, you know, I can stop. I'll certainly ask, answer questions here in a little bit. Uh, but uh, we, again, appreciate uh, what he's done. And, and, uh, and uh, let's don't, you know, let's don't let uh, things happen. Uh, 
you know, he was, I will tell you, he had a tough time. You know, uh, he felt we were going to go into that tournament and win. And, uh, you know, uh, I told Barry last year is that I said, Barry, uh, uh, and I wasn't the AD, and I'd actually just gotten on as a special assistant, and there was a situation that you all remember, and uh, I was asked uh, by the chancellor to talk to him because uh, Tommy was not around, and Barry asked me through that situation what I would do, and I said I'd take 350000 and uh, forgive my French, get the hell out of here. You know, so I, that's what I told Barry. And uh, to his credit, uh, you know, he said he, he thought about it, and two days later he says uh, to me, and he didn't have to say anything to me, but he said to me, he goes, Coach, I, I want to coach this team. We can hold these players in here, and, uh, you know, we can win. And, uh, and he's, I think uh, at the end of the day he was very disappointed. Uh, certainly not winning the tournament, but you know how the how uh, the season went, and uh, you know it's uh, there's nothing ever thing nothing ever guaranteed in life, uh, but uh, you know I think uh, it was difficult. And as he said, the the greatest regret he has is you know not getting a team to the tournament. But uh, hey, that's not always easy to do, and and. Uh, he had some teams that were close and maybe should have got in. I don't, you know, I don't know, but uh, but uh, again, um, is that uh, he's handled himself well, and uh, you know, I've enjoyed working with him uh, through this year. Uh, as far as search goes, uh, uh, we've already started the search process, and uh, you know, I will not be using a search firm. Um, I don't, you know, it's I don't. Uh, feel like we need to do that. First of all, it costs a lot of money, and uh, I feel like that's what they pay the athletic director to do. And so, uh, you know, I will uh, be traveling uh, throughout the country and visiting with candidates, and uh, it will be kept very quiet. And uh, because a lot of candidates are still uh, coaching, and uh, and uh, two or three of my assistant. Uh, or my administrators will be involved in some of that, but uh, at the end of the day, I don't ever lie to anybody. Is it, it will be my decision, and uh, so uh, I've got a lot of work to do, and that's basically what I've been doing um, since uh, uh, Barry's decided to, you know, to go a different direction. And uh, so, uh, with that, uh, I know that people as the chancellor are going to be involved. Uh, you know, basically, you know, he's given me the green light to go do what I need to do, uh, which is very appreciative and, and uh, putting faith in to me that I can get it done. Um, qualities of uh, a coach I'm looking for is uh, the fit. It's got to be a good fit. It's got to be somebody that understands the Midwest um, and uh, – and, and, per, and preferably, or not preferably, I want somebody from the Midwest, and I want to make sure that uh, uh, they're a good fit here at Southern Illinois. You know, and uh, you look in coaching all over the country, it's about the fit. And sometimes a guy gets out of the fit zone, he's not very successful. So uh, that's the key element that I'm looking for, making sure it's the right fit for Southern Illinois. Uh, I'll get asked timetable. And uh, timetable is as quick as uh, we can do our research and get somebody hired. And, uh, you know, I'd like to do it as fast as we can. And uh, we'll just see how that process goes. Uh, I'd like to have to be able to name a head coach as early as next week. Uh, but uh, uh, we'll just have to see. There's, you know, there's a lot of things that go into that. And, uh, but uh, we don't want to waste any time. And uh, so with that, I'll open it up to any questions. Has, has someone contacted our recruits and talked to the red shirts that are here or returning about staying or, or what, they're, the situ what is the situation on that? Uh, Coach Kill did. I, I approached our kids uh, right after the game on the bus. I talked to uh, um, the, the kids. Uh, that uh, are going to be here next year 
and I talked to, uh, you know, uh, how important it was that they stuck together. Uh, we'd move this process along quickly. Uh, we will be in touch with them, uh, you know, all the time to make sure we uh, take care of that part. Uh, I explained some things to them, and uh, so we got right on it and uh, we'll continue to stay on that situation. And what is the situation with the assistant coaches? Have you retained one to, to kind of wrangle? No, I, what we've done is that uh, uh, we have, you know, with our coaching staff, I've talked to them this morning. Uh, they will continue to work uh, through this process because there may be a coach that comes in. I know when I was coaching, a lot of people want it, will want to keep somebody. You know, to kind of, I always say where the find out where the bodies are buried, so to speak. You know, and uh, get get people in the right place, or they may want to bring all their people in. That's going to be their choice. But in the meantime, you know, our guys uh, got a contract, I believe, until April that uh, I talked to them about, and so uh, right now uh, they will they will be working, and then Jeff Jones will be looking over that area, and. Uh, and Jeff will do a good job. He's got probably as good a relationship with the players as anybody. And he's he's uh, been with them on the road, been everywhere with them, and uh, and uh, also uh, you know Clancy's been very involved with the players. And so, but uh, our coaches that are here, you know, want this program to be good. And uh, you know, certain kids call different coaches, and uh, but uh, it will all be overseen by our administrative assistant, Jeff Jones, and he's, he's somebody that's been with me a long time and knows exactly what we want. When did you find out about the deal Barrett had said it made with the Chancellor? If, uh, that if he lost, he was done. Well, you know, that's a good question is that, uh, and, and I think there's more too, is that I was a special assistant coming in and uh, I was not in that meeting with the chancellor, so I can't answer that question. Uh, you know, uh, I can't answer that, uh, you know, coming out of it, um, you know, that was, you know, Barry talked about it and, and, uh, and uh, you know, the chancellor talked about it, but I was not in the meeting. Um, but uh, after the meeting was over with, I can't tell you it's the next day or when it was, but uh, I was aware of it. But again, I always, uh, go through a season with a coach and uh, always sit down with that coach and go over the season and the body of work through that season. And in this situation uh, was uh, done, uh, you know, uh, quickly and uh, without my knowledge and uh, until we went into the locker room. But Barry had me come into the locker room because he wanted to make sure you know, when he made this announcement, he wanted to make sure that I was in there to make sure w what he said to the players, and I was a witness of how he handled it, and uh, and he handled it first class. Was it weird for you, or a different decision, difficult decision, because as the athletic director, you didn't have the final say, kind of in this. Uh, in, in oh, I had conversations with Barry throughout the season. I mean, every AD does, and. And so, uh, you know, when we're struggling, et cetera, um, that stuff stays between me and him. Uh, but uh, I think the only surprise I had, you know, uh, I don't think any of us planned on losing against Northern Iowa. I think we all – I had four suits up there and I uh, didn't have any jeans. So, I mean, I to tell you that we all felt we were going to win and so did Barry. And, uh, but it didn't work out that way. And you got to think, you got to think on your toes and pretty quick uh, – you know, when your head coach goes in and and uh, steps in and said, you know that uh, you know he's that he's done and uh, you know going to you know. So I mean, it was it was a shock to the system, and and uh, uh, Coach Kill had to react very quickly. And I I'm one of those I like to think about it and go through a little train of thought, so to speak. But uh, you know what, you know Barry did it his way, and. Uh, he did it his way pretty good and handled the press conference and stuff. So, hey, you know, uh, at this point in time, you know, we appreciate everything Barry's done, you know, and he, you wouldn't have got, he wouldn't have got those compliments from a commissioner 
from the league. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Southern Illinois, this is a chance that we move forward. And uh, I'm not one that looks back. We can't change anything to happen. You know, at uh, Northern Iowa game, our job is to get the program, uh, you know, going and moving forward. And it's my job to get this thing done as, as quickly as we can. I don't want a bunch of buy our kids are on spring break. Uh, you know, you got all kinds of these new transfer rules and et cetera. So you want to make sure that uh, we get on top of it in a hurry. And uh, so uh, I'll be uh, very busy over the next uh, four days and, and our staff. You said you spoke to the players, Jerry, briefly after the tournament. Is it fair to say that they are, are waiting to see who you hire before they make a decision to stay or leave for next season? Uh, I, if, if I'm a guessing person uh, and uh, knowing kids and the way I do, and I do know our team pretty good. I had a good relationship with our team and with the kids, and uh, I think that's always the case when you hire a new coach is they're going to wait to see who you hire. And uh, that was my case with Minnesota players when I went in there. I'm sure they were waiting to see who they hired and, and if they were going to stay or not. And so uh, I don't think there's any question that will play a part in it. Uh, coach Gill, uh, and I still call you coach, of course. I want you to. <laughs> um, it seems like uh, you're a guy who's all in, in control as far as uh, like a lot of the ADs. You, do you have a list of, of possible guys just in case, or re, do you have some candidates in mind over this this uh, process? Not necessarily thinking anything like what happened with Barry, but just in case uh, some potential candidates. Well, the the situation is I've always done this in football. You know, I had a great assistant, Tracy Clay's. If Tracy Clay's left, I had a you know lineup of who I'm going to look at and possibly hire. Uh, same thing here. If we have a compliance officer leave, uh, and I don't want to thank Kevin, I'm trying to replace him, but if we, 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 if we had a compliance officer leave, I've got a plan exactly uh, who I would look at and what I'd do. So did I have a preparation list? I'm always prepared. You know, you have to be prepared. So yes, you know, I had, uh, you know, a preparation list and, uh, you know, uh, I know, uh, you know, right now is I'm gathering information and uh, and uh, working very rapidly and to visit with people that I feel that we need to be visiting with. And uh, so I think that uh, uh, when you have a plan and you're prepared, uh, it moves the process along faster and uh, it wouldn't matter what sport it is or what I'm doing or, you know, whether it's academics, you know, I got, you know, like I tell her, but I've got, you know, everybody, you know, uh, is that uh, there's always somebody ready. And uh, I go around the country. I've been a lot of places. So if I see somebody good, I write them down. Because my memory's not very good, but I can write. So I write them down. This is who I like. I like this person. I like this person. And I always keep it in my drawer. And uh, I got a whole page full of different things in that drawer. It's a magic drawer. So uh, that means, uh, you know, I don't... Uh, I'm not one that likes to wait around. At any time during that losing streak in the middle of the season, was there any consideration about making a change at that time? Uh, you know, you can't. Uh, how many people have you seen do that in college basketball? I'm Great. just curious. Yeah, I, unless somebody gets an NCAA violation or something like that. Uh, did I talk with Barry? Did I talk with the staff? Yes. You know, was I going to fire him? No. But uh, did I talk to him? about what we needed to do and I thought we needed to do to get better. And uh, as an athletic director, uh, I did. And uh, that's, that was, that's my job. And, uh, and they, you know, Barry and staff responded very well to it and very appreciative of it. And then I talked to the team too. So, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie to anybody. And I, th I think that uh, communication between the AD and, and the coach, coaches are very important, you know? And uh, so, uh, you know, I do the same thing with uh, Nick Hill or, you know, Roslyn or anybody. Communication. I'm, I'm one that when I'm in the building, I pretty much see everybody and go around and see everybody every day. That's how I work. And, uh, but now that's Liz and Jeff's job because I've got to get out and raise money. So uh, that's just that's, – we're, we're a team. we got a good team lined up, and uh, we, we're running it like a Division One program.
I mean, just like with Barry Alvarez being the athletic director, uh, there's uh, Philip Fulmer, uh, you know, being an athletic director, you know, uh, my job is to get out and raise money and have a good team, Jason Fairfield, you know, leading that, that cause in his area. And, uh, uh, but uh, you got to get out and raise money and people got to see you. And, uh, and then you got to trust your people inside, uh, your administrators take care of business inside, and I've got the best. Coach, I mean, oh, the best. I was going to say, Coach, you talked about the perfect fit. Uh, do you hold a preference for candidates who have previous experience coaching here or playing here, or uh, is that just going to be in development? Oh, I, I think that you, you, you consider that and everything else. You know, I'm, you know, I'm looking from – Power Five to, you know, to Missouri Valley to, you know, uh, ex-head coaches, you know, we're large surveying that thing and uh, breaking it down as we speak and and uh, that's where we'll go to, you know, I'm not going to interview 14 people, you know, but, uh, you know, I think I'm getting closer to where I know what we need to do and where we need to go. You say, What's different about the search for a basketball coach and for, uh, say, a volleyball coach? I, I don't I think that uh, the difference here and, and you know I mean I stepped up to play we got a volleyball coach I think nobody can question what that we're stepping up to play to make sure we're a division one school and we won't do anything hey basketball I mean there isn't one sport in here it's not going to tell you basketball is the kingpin around here and we got to make that kingpin go and we're going to do what it takes to make that kingpin go and as far as search goes, though, it's no different. I've handled the, the people we hired, I've handled the same way. So, I mean, so it's a deal where, you know, you go out and get the best. And so far, I think that, that uh, I think we've proven with my team that uh, we went out and got the best that uh, we can bring in here. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm very excited about those people, and I'm very excited about uh, – this this search, hey, let's let's face this, most important hire we'll make. You know, bottom line. You and know, with the top candidates out there, I, I guess a lot. How much urgency do you feel? I know you said you're going to find the best search and do what you have to. Is it a, a situation where you really feel like you need to move quick to get the best candidate? Well, I th I think anybody that's got a job open, if you look at it through basketball, and uh, you know, people all are going to move quick. And a lot of them are going to move a lot quicker because of the transfer rule. That doesn't just affect us. That affects everybody. So, uh, and nobody knows how that's going to go. So, uh, you want to be able to, to make sure that, uh, you know, you get things established. And, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen in basketball with uh, all the FBI investigations are starting to come out. And, you know, uh, my prediction, there's going to be a lot of jobs open. So, and uh, if that's the case, uh, then uh, you better get out there early and get after it. Got time for a couple more questions. Uh, Bruce Weber was not a head coach before he came here. It turned out pretty well. How important is head coaching experience to you, Jerry, when you're looking at this position? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I think a lot of it uh, is the roots you've been brought into. You know, I was a Division II coach when I came in here. And a lot of people go, I, I know people thought that I was crazy. You know, and what are you doing here? And why did we hire this guy? We don't even know who he is. You know, when I went to Minnesota, you know, they had fired JerryKill.com on before I ever got the job, hardly. Isn't that true? That's true. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, it's uh, helped me. Is, is that uh, head coaching, does it, is there some value to that? Of course there is, you know, because you've been through the ranks. But at the same time, you can't be a head coach if you never get the chance. And uh, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of things to it. I just want the best coach. I want a ball coach. I'm not worried about who's winning the press conference, all that stuff. I want a ball coach. I want a great basketball coach. And I don't care, you know, it's got to be the fit. It needs to be from the Midwest and uh, – you know, and uh, it's got to be somebody that I trust dearly because at the end of the day, it's going to be, well, either I screwed up or made the right decision. And uh, so uh, I'm going to make sure that we make the right decision. Just ask you maybe one more question. Do you have one, Todd? I was just going to ask 
you know, uh, Barron's making about 350. Jerry, could you imagine going higher than that if you find, think it's the right person? You know, right now, what did I tell you? We're going to be a Division One program. We're not going to be, you know, a Division Two program. We're not going to act like we're a one double A program. We're not going to act like we're going to get this coach for the lowest money and and uh, so we can save money and and all that stuff and and we've worked very hard at raising money as everybody knows and we're going to go out and compete so you know what that level of money is uh, i can't tell you i know what the market value is uh, in the valley um, and uh, i know some of the private schools money and uh, so i've got a um, you know, an opportunity where all that lies, but, uh, you know, I can't tell you. It's no different than, you know, if, if somebody wants a good assistant and I got a salary pool of, of something here and we got to go get somebody that it's really, really good, then we're going to take a good look at it. And I think if you look at me since I've been here and we have been here, uh, is that I don't think I've pulled any punches of what I've done. And uh, we're not going to do any less in the basketball program. We'll do more. Because the bottom line is, you know, we're the front porch of the university, and we have to win. And we have to win in basketball, and we need to get. We got to put six to eight thousand people in that thing. I want it full, okay. But guess what? To get it full, you got to win, and so uh, all those things are important. And uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna compete. I guess that I can't put a dollar figure on it, but we will compete. And. When you talk about the tradition, how rich it's been here, will you rely and talk to some of the past players, and, and how much will you be doing that as far as get, picking their brains? I, I've picked a lot of brains here over the last day, certainly. You know, certainly I will. And uh, uh, have, I don't want to mention names, put them in a bad spot, but uh, I've talked to a lot of people, and uh, a lot of people that have been here, uh, a lot of people that haven't been here, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, do I lean a little bit towards people you trust? And no, certainly. And uh, but in basketball, they know everyone knows everybody. I mean, same with football. That's a tight fraternity. So I mean, if I go, hey, do you know so and so? They go, oh yeah, I, I've come across him. He's a great recruiter. You know. So, uh, you know, people. Uh, uh, I've got a lot of emails, and this job is a good job. People know it's a good job. That's a good thing. Coach, what are you looking for, if you could put it maybe down to three things? What is Coach Kill looking for in the next head basketball coach at SIU? The right fit is number one. Number two, I want a disciplined ball club. Number three, tough. 